it's much easier to name the musicians that haven't played here rather than the ones that have. Ronnie Scott, it is a national institution. You felt that you were in the genuine in crowd of the musical circle of London. Now, Ronnie, you were one of the best tennis axe players in the country. Why did you decide to open a jazz club? And only an idiot would go into, into the jazz club business, let's face it. The difficulty was financial. If we were going to stay open, we'd have to import foreign musicians, Americans in particular. All their great heroes in jazz could all come together in this one place. Meet me at the airport, and we go to Ronnie Scott's. That's where I want to go. The club was Ronnie's life. So many people go, but they don't know anything about Ronnie Scott. Everybody followed him. He was the leader. People wanted to bask in his shadow, but he, he wasn't that kind of man at all. He's an absolutely crucial catalyst to the British jazz scene who never ever thought he was. It's not until you gather all the pieces together that you get the full picture of him. When you say we're playing Ronnie Scott's, that's the pinnacle. It's iconic and it stood the test of time. It infects everybody that walks through that door. Right on. You didn't want to miss a note, not one note. 